Hey guys, this is Rosa Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. And so today I decided to kind of just turn on the camera and start vlogging. It has been a while and I miss it. And I am just in such a good mood today. And day is beautiful which I think really helps my mood so it is currently 70 degrees and it is 7 30 p.m. and it's so bright outside and it's just such a perfect day today so I am out here at Michael's because I was working on some mini albums that I am doing a sale for and I ran out of car stock so as I'm working on the second batch for these books I really just want to stock up and get everything I need so I don't have to constantly come back to the store this is why I wanted to um, bring you along with me let's grab what I need and also see what else is new on Michael's because it's been a while since I've been here and I'm just excited so let's go now I'm ready to be heard again I'll end up in your Hey guys so it is the next day today i'm working from home yesterday i had a lot of fun at michael's i felt like i was there forever i was only there for half an hour but i literally walked everywhere and it has been a long time since i was at michael's and it just gave me so much inspiration and i don't know just being there and the scent of michael's when you walk in you know it gave me a lot of good memories and motivated me to just come home and craft um however when i got home i realized my daughter had a little bit of a fever so i couldn't do anything i was just taking care of her and so yeah so today i'm working from home so i'm about to jump into a meeting the girls are in school and i'm just kind of busy today i have a lot to do but last week i went to joanne's and i was looking for some inspiration for like papers for my digital magazine so i have also been working on the magazine this whole month which hopefully will be 
coming soon i don't want to put a date yet because i am taking my time with this one you guys so anyway so i went to joanne's and i just wanted to show you really quick like a footage of when i went there because i never actually posted that and they had so many beautiful new paper collections that i think i'm gonna come back and just get some last time when i went i was just looking for fabrics for the magazine which i ended up finding some really cute fabrics as well at michael's i only ended up picking up their car stock uh which is what i needed because first it wasn't on sale so i had to buy a lot and also they didn't really have any new papers that were screaming to me come and get me so i was okay to not get any papers um however the planners were calling my name and i really had to control myself and not get a new planner especially because they were at full price maybe if they come on sale before july because those planners i think start in july or june so if they come on sale in the next few weeks probably i might get a new planner too uh, but anyway i'm gonna show you the footage of when i went to joanne's i'm gonna log into a meeting i have a lot to do but i'll come back and catch up with you later on today you make it shine but i can see that you don't realize and that's what made me fall in love because you
as you can see and it has been a long day so I just made myself a cup of coffee I haven't had coffee all day actually because I turned into a tea a morning person which is new unless I'm going to the office and I have a lot of meetings and I'll probably pick up a Starbucks on the way uh, but if I'm working from home like today I just had tea and I am now on first cup of coffee and so anyway I just wanted to share with you um, the fabric that I found at Joanne's that I was mentioning before and so I am very inspired with all like really bright spring colors for this magazine so went ahead and picked up some really beautiful fabric I just love this one here look how pretty the flowers are and then I also picked up this other strawberry fabric because I'm making a strawberry shortcake project which I'm so excited about uh, so it is taking me a little bit long but I found the perfect fabric for this project um, so this is gonna be like a mini album with a soft spine and I just I was looking for perfect fabric which I'm excited that I now found um, I was going to share with you my planner but I realized that I actually move all my planner things to my room uh, because for me it's easier to do my planning either in the morning or at night so I love doing like checklists in the morning and then at night time I just go to my planner and like mark off what I actually got accomplished and I'm constantly checking on my planner during the day to see what else I need to do uh, and so it is easier to have it in my room so my room I also have a table it's kind of like my makeup table but it's actually now my makeup slash planner table so I put my planner card next to it so I can always just kind of have an easy access to that because when I have the planners here on my studio, I actually don't come here until the evening when I'm done with work, I'm done with the girls, and then I don't like coming in and out just to grab a planner and, you know, it just, it becomes not functional at that point. But anyway, so I'm going to enjoy my coffee and I haven't been in the studio the whole week. So what I'm going to do is just do a quick clean up i have been actively working on the blank albums and i am doing those on my back living room so i'm not really doing it here on the studio so that's why i haven't really been here and i was really hoping to record yesterday but my daughter was sick so today hopefully we'll get to do some recording okay so i'm gonna give you a look at what the studio looks like right now it is such a mess i mean this is not even the bad part. The bad part is here <laughs> behind when I'm sitting just because I have been doing a lot of moving things around and I need to find a place for these things here. And so, yeah, I also have some PR packages that I need to open and do videos, but I am so behind on everything. Um, but what I want to do right now is just kind of clean the table and uh, be ready. So later on after, you know, my daughter has a volleyball game tonight. So when I come home from that, I can hopefully um, do some projects here. So I need to empty <laughs> the table. Um, and so this car here, it is my either incomplete project cards or things that I want to kind of give away or, you know, donate or something like that. <laughs> so I put it here so it's a nice visual and reminder that I need to, you know, get going with these things here. Um, but I kind of hate it. <laughs> I hate seeing my incomplete projects like as the first thing that, you know, I see as I walk into the room. So I might have to move that somewhere else. This box here is actually a paper hole and I was saving it to do 
maybe like a video of what I bought uh, but this is box one of two so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for the second package uh, maybe I'll just do these here that way I can put this away because it's also driving me crazy um, but anyway so back to the table I was just um but anyway back to the table I'm just gonna go ahead and clean organize I have all kinds of paper scraps um some stickers <laughs> volleyball stickers I have been working on a memory planner for my daughter's all like their volleyball events and tournaments so I found these at Joanne's was it yeah so I love these stickers so I'm gonna use that then I have this collection that I wanted to work with because I recently um, created this book here you might have seen the tutorial for this book and I just wanted to do a video decorating that book so that's why I have that out here and then I got my new Daphne's and diary deliver on the mail so I always love like to see the beautiful colors of spring and all you know all the things they have like they have really good recipes and decorating ideas and just things to do it's just fun to look through like the images and the colors okay so i know it doesn't look very different but i cleaned the table i wipe it all and then i brought in here the new papers that i got and also this is another box of like a journaling kits that i am subscribed to and i've been wanting to do a video that's why i haven't opened them so maybe today i'll do like a little mini recording marathon where i can get just a few videos done um i went ahead and organized this little caddy that i had i bought this to do um like a gift wrapping station in christmas and this is actually from the dollar store but it's actually really practical it has a little handle so you can easy like easily move it from place to place but i'm gonna use it to put my car stock that i use all the time which is my heavy weight and then some scraps because my scraps are always everywhere and sometimes i feel sad to like get rid of like the gold and just things that i think i will use like this really pretty glitter um and so yeah so i don't want to accumulate too much of the scraps but i think a good amount that's okay um and so yeah so i wiped these also my sister-in-law just had a baby and i went through my stash of cards and i found this one i knew i had to have um a baby card somewhere so this is from la la land like la la land craft stamps and dies and it was so pretty from when i was on their design team and it's just really cute it's like a little mini booklet actually so you can put little pictures here i did this some time ago and then it opens up like that so it's like a little card slash uh, what would you call this flip book maybe but anyway, so I'm going to give it to her as a car and we're going to hopefully go visit the baby maybe next week. But I, I'm so happy that I found this. found also on my stash this composition notebook and I've been wanting to do an other composition notebook. I did one for my mom a couple years ago and she used it all the time and I, I was actually looking through her things and I found it and I was inspired to do another one and then I just happened to find these like what are the odds so I think it's a sign that I need to actually do another one uh, by the way I made those cards for my mom so she's always there with me and so yeah so I did organize here Look at my little girl over there um, i still need to vacuum the rug but i moved the cart here and um that box needs to be opened asap but this a big mess that was here it's gone and the floor just looks so clean um now up here i have all planners that I don't know that I'm if I'm gonna keep them or not. So sometimes I keep my planners, sometimes I don't. It just depends on like how if they're memory planners with pictures, I will keep them. But if they're just like to-do list 
type of planners then i probably won't keep them um and then this is also an incomplete project that needs to be finished sometime soon so i think i created this for like a christmas um to do like a christmas box and it's all finished inside too it's just made out of cardstock but maybe i can decorate it as like a little farmhouse album since we are on spring not so much christmas um, but anyway i have to clean this space and then the other nightmare of mine is this table here which is so bad so i set this up to be my sewing table but every time i have an empty table it just gets filled with things now a lot of these things still need to go like in my, my office or like now where I move my planners, I think I will have like different places for things so I don't have everything in one area. And I just, I love my craft room even though it's small. I think it's just so cute and so cozy. I had a bigger craft room before and I thought it was so overwhelming to always keep it clean. So I do like the smaller space, but I'm gonna be moving some of these things to my office so it's not too much so i don't know if i'll keep the table here or not uh the sewing table but definitely all the planner things are going somewhere else and then the last thing that i need to organize is this little card here which is such a mess um and see what i want to keep what i want to finish and what just kind of needs to go so that's another task i'm not doing that today because i actually want to do a little bit of crafting for once and uh, now that i am in the mood and i'm just excited and i feel relaxed the girls are doing good um and so yeah so it's just a little bit of me time right now so i'm going to record record and then put this away and then hopefully get going on the next project okay you guys so i actually ended up full-on cleaning my craft room i went ahead and vacuumed the rug and clear everything that was here i always just put things here because i think i'm gonna use it right away and then it ends up all being a mess so now that it's clean i'm gonna try not to do that although it's easier said than done, done um and tada i cleaned this which was a big challenge and what i did is actually empty one of these drawers here and i put in here all of my like planners things that you know i use for planning so they're all in there so i can keep them i did get rid of a couple that i just didn't really use um but yeah so i like how this looks i'm keeping this here i know it looks weird just because i do want to finish these projects sometime and i recently got this new like um what do you call this label printer and so this is i think a good place for it because i can plug it in right there and then i can plug these to my laptop and it is a lot easier i need to get more of these labels and so yeah that's going to be really practical for when i'm packing my books i'm sorry for the light so i went ahead and cleaned this table here which was another big challenge so i only have here this box this is a um, bridgerton box uh, from happy planner and it is like a notebook it's like a little surprise box so i haven't opened it yet i wanted to do this on camera but i have been holding on to this for maybe a couple months now and yeah so i'm gonna leave it here so i can open this on camera then i have saved these little containers that i thought i was gonna use for something i don't know what to use it for yet this is so cute i'm thinking for like ephemera or something this came with a set of tea and this actually came with uh beauty blenders so i think this would be really cute for like color pencils or things like that uh, but anyway so i do have to put that away and then the only thing that i don't know where to put is these stickers so these are sticker books um that i wanted to kind of start a clutch book which is gonna be this book here and just kind of just relax watch tv and just do nothing but put stickers and since i have all of these stickers because usually when i journal i just journal i don't really 
I decorate my pages too much uh, but it will be nice to just kind of treat this as an art book for stickers um, and I don't know if I want to keep it on the craft room or if I want to put it um, somewhere where I can you know easily access and actually do it um, so I'm really trying to focus on hobbies that are like easy going and just kind of relaxing and I don't have to always be like measuring and counting and cutting and things like that so I think this will be super relaxing I just don't know where to put it yet so I'm just keeping it here for now um, and then here I have this little box that I created before I'm just gonna give you a quick tour I guess and I have here all uh, my mail that I receive from like, my patrons and that I'm subscribed and I just love and all of these are little journaling like stickers and things like that so I just keep them here I do open it and look at it but then I put it back so I don't kind of like um because they each have a different theme and so I like to keep the theme together and so I do think I'm gonna keep the table here because I do so as I'm you know like crafting and then I just like to sew on some pages and things like that and so for now I'm just gonna keep it here I do want to empty this here though down here I have some ribbons that I think I'm just gonna donate because I don't use and then some boxes that I need to get shipped out and so yeah so that is this side and over here I do keep all my car stock I just put the garbage there so I can take it out um but I keep here all my like 110 pound car stock or 65 pound car stock and all of that is tucked in there and then on these drawers let me show you this one here is where i keep all my pictures that i actually print and so i keep them organized by events like this is i think a birthday i might have like disney and all kinds of things i do print my pictures on shutterfly and i just keep them here and so the gold for me like here i have a school in halloween and the goal is to actually get these pictures into books because i do always print my pictures but i don't always put them into books so maybe i'll start like a little challenge to myself to just pick a random envelope and put them into a mini album um here i have the planners that i just show you and then down here i have all of my ephemera so what i did is combine the ephemera from here and here and just kind of have it all together so these are ephemera that i mainly use when i want to do like mixed media or decorate my books but since lately i have just been working with kids and everything comes you know included and it's just so easy i don't have to really dig into my stash and so i just tuck it there i know sometime i will use it again um, and then the only thing that I didn't really do is organize this book um, or crafty cutty here. So I won't do it today. I keep saying I won't do it and then I get to it because I, I just kind of, you know, I have to. If I'm organizing something, I feel like I need to just go for it. But yeah, so I'll leave that alone. These are some boxes. Again, PR packages that I need to open. And then my bookcases I organized not too long ago. I think I organized this right before Christmas. Um, so I have a bunch of Christmas books. And then also I have some like of the newer books that I've done that I just start kind of placing there. And this is a beautiful journal I got for Christmas. I haven't done anything in terms of like Christmas or December daily. So I'm super, super behind on all of that uh, then back here of course my chair here's a little container where i have all the kits that i'm gonna be working on in the near future <laughs> so i do keep them there and yeah so i organized these also the other day for mother's day and i just kind of like decorating my craft room a little bit and just getting some inspiration going this is the project that i am working on for the magazine one of the projects so i keep that here i do use my crossly uh, vinyl box here or i don't know what you call this record player <laughs> but um i just put these things here on top but it's really really relaxing and so here let me just show you some of my recent 
albums that I got. I got the JLo, of course, and Shakira because they're just my favorite. <laughs> but I do have a, a little mini collection of vinyls that I love to listen to while I'm crafting and not recording. Up here I have my vision board, not a vision board, what do you call this? Like a productivity board. So this is the board for my magazine. So these are the projects that I am working on and once i complete a project they go down to the other box here it's like a little system same thing for this board here these are all kind of like my patreon kits and youtube um videos that i want to record so this is the one for april and right now there's nothing done because i just really like reset this board and i think i have to add a couple more here for my patreon but i run out of the green ones i do have it color coded so i need to get more of that and so yeah so then over here i have my subscription box so i do need to work on that so when i need to work on something i really need to have it out <laughs> because i am very visual and if i don't see it i don't remember that i have to work on that so i have the january and february boxes that i'm gonna be working on really soon and then over here i have my journal bookcase so i have journals but since i ran out of space for mini albums i just started putting mini albums on the front but all they're all journals in there and then my coloring and just things for the printer and things like that that hard book over here <laughs> also another incomplete project but yeah so this is my crafty space uh down here a little bit more mess i guess it does look a little messy but i mean it can never be perfect right so down here those books are fully finished those are 12 by 12 scrapbooks same thing as all of those for my kids when they were little before i got into mini albums i do have one book for each one of my kids i just have to label them but it's all their birthdays from like zero to five i think for all of them so i kind of have all of their birthdays combined and then one is just sisters it's just kind of all the like adventures together and vacations and things like that um uh, this one's here are new so i kind of wanted to do the same thing with those um for you know when they're older now so i want to do that again and uh, here i is where i keep all like my scraps when i finish working with a collection that i really like and i think i'm gonna use it for either cards or something but i honestly probably need to go through that and see if i am going to actually use them or not um here's where i keep my eight by ten papers and six by six papers but again as you can see i kind of have overload <laughs> it's overflowing um and then some blank books those books here i keep because they're kind of like prototypes and um i go to those books for reference if i have like a layout that i really like i go in there and when i'm making my blank books i just kind of go through through those and kind of do something similar but it's just fun to look at blank books i think and then here i have all my mixed media uh, dyes flowers ribbons things that i don't really use that much and so yeah so that is my space here's where i record of course um so i think what i'm gonna do right now is record <laughs> this little mini hole here and i went ahead and put all of these on these little pouches i got these at hobby lobby and they're so practical to keep collections together especially when you have different size papers and journaling cards and scraps and you know it just keeps it all in one place so i love that and then the next project that i'm going to be working on is on one of my paper collections and i'm going to be making a book for my patreon and this is just this beautiful spring theme and i just love it so i wasn't able to work on this one before because i ran out of ink but and <laughs> i didn't finish printing all the pages so this is i think only half of the set or i don't think if I, I i have all the sheets here but i'm gonna finish up printing all of these and then uh, start working on this project this little unit here i actually got it as an extension for your table and this is where 
I put my laptop. So as I'm recording a class, I'm just typing here the measurements and things like that. So it's really practical. But right now, just put that here. So that is kind of like a little mini tour of my studio where I record, where I craft. And I just love this space. I think it's so cozy and so relaxing. And definitely having a little spring clean type of day helps with the motivation I have been really up and down with my mood and my desire to just be crafting I do love crafting of course but there's just so much to do and I just find myself being so tired and definitely having a fresh space it's so inviting and yes I just love now i'm excited and i'm ready to craft but it is super late and i don't think i'll be able to do much more i am going to be recording this video so i can finish putting this away and then tomorrow i will probably be able to record a tutorial for you guys so i hope that you guys are doing well i hope that you are keeping your spirits up i know life is so challenging and so difficult sometimes and we just have to keep trying our best i am still kind of struggling to find myself again and i do thank you so much for all your support and your love to my channel and i hope that you enjoyed the vlog and i hope that wherever you are and whatever you are going through know that i am here for you i have to go feed the cat <laughs> i will talk to you guys later and i'll see you on the next one